Welcome back, guys. Hey, guys. If you haven't already heard, 2022 was a record-breaking year for Calgary, but mm -hmm. not just in real estate. You know, from venture capitalist investments to burgeoning tech, film, TV, there was a lot of good news stories that came mm -hmm, out of Calgary definitely. last year. And uh, we came across an article from Calgary Economic Development, and uh, we just wanted to share some of their top headlines from 2022 with you. So... There's lots to talk about as always, but we're going to try and keep this uh, as brief as possible. So Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Do you want to start off? Sure. Yeah. I mean, um, and, and basically these are straight from Calgary Economic Development. So, I mean, these are these are their opinions and their ideas, um, but we just wanted to relay them to you. So, you know, one of the interesting ones off the top is um, kind of in the creative hub space for Calgary. It's... it's um, it's really kind of taking bigger strides. And so there is one company called Side Trade. Um, they're opening a North American hub in Calgary. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to read this. So they are a global uh, fintech financial tech firm mm -hmm. who opened a Calgary office in October. And they're planning to invest $25 million along with the creation of 110 full-time jobs over the next three years. So... Um, you know, that's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. Side trade for those of you who, who don't know, and I didn't know until we kind of saw this article, they're an accounts, they have an accounts receivable software that uses cutting edge AI cash collection and automation. So cool. very cool. AI, I mean, this is something we, we're continuing to hear. I don't think yeah. AI is going anywhere. It's only kind of increasing. So um, that's kind of exciting. Yeah, cool. They're, you know, opening a, a Calgary office or they opened a Calgary yeah. office last year. Yeah. yeah. So the other article that came out was uh, about Infosys, right? Yep. So they're a global tech uh, giant, really. They're from India. Uh, and they announced that their digital center will create a thousand new jobs in Calgary. They actually have a commitment uh, to grow, I believe, the Canadian workforce by 8,000 uh, yep. employees by 2024. And a thousand of those will be in Calgary. So, you know, new jobs mm -hmm. coming. Now, Infosys is a um, IT company from India. They provide yep. uh, like business consulting, IT, and outsourcing uh, services. So, again, pretty cool. Very cool. Very cool. So, the third one in kind of that same creative hub for global innovation space um, is multinational IT firm Emphasis. So, they opened a Calgary office in July of 2022, uh, so not very long ago. And Emphasis anticipates hiring over uh, 200 jobs in the sort of the next 12 to 15 months, mm -hmm. with plans to increase their headcount to a thousand or more within the next five years. So, some pretty significant job creation there. They're also from India, right? They are. Yeah. Uh, they are a multinational from India, as you said. Um, they're offering next generation applied technology and consulting to help enterprises transform their businesses globally. So, that was hard to say. Yeah, <laughs> I did a little research on them. I mean, I'm not a tech person. Yeah. Even after reading about them, I, I need to learn a little bit more about what they're offering here. But yeah. pretty cool that they're, uh, again, bringing more jobs to Calgary. There's a lot of big, long words in their <laughs> descriptions. So. <laughs> So we have Calgary companies who are also scaling globally. Now we've all heard of WestJet. You know, WestJet has its roots in Calgary. Mm -hmm. yep. No surprise there. But what is happening now with WestJet is they're actually making Calgary their global hub. So what does that mean? In October, uh, WestJet announced that Calgary will become the official home base for its Dreamliner fleet. Right, right. Nice. Yeah, so yeah. Um, the, the Calgary International Airport will become the global hub. Um, I know some of those Dreamliners right now are, reside in Toronto and Vancouver, but they're all moving to Calgary, I, I think, by the summertime. Yeah. Which means that uh, YYC will be the only airport where WestJet connects directly to intercontinental yeah. um, wow. destinations. So That's a big deal. That's a big deal, a that really a big, big deal. deal. Uh, I think they're kind of doing like a five-year pilot program. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon the pun. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> to see uh, to see how it works, but yeah. Uh, hey, yeah, pretty, pretty right. again. I'm gonna have to get the po news. get the hook out for that joke right there. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, moving along to uh, number five is uh, 
Adabotics. Yeah. So Adabotics again had no idea who these um, who this company was. Sure. So they've closed their Series C funding. They are um, they are a patented. They have a patented automated storage and retrieval system. Hmm. Utilizing horizontal and vertical space to reduce warehouse warehouse needs by eighty five percent. Now, like when you really that's think crazy. about that, that's a that's a huge deal. Yeah. So, and they've won like some awards and stuff, haven't they? They they have, yeah. yeah. Now, so now in November, just this past November, they unveiled one of the largest fundraising rounds in Alberta's recent history, north of ninety million dollars Canadian. Wow. Now, here's a little fun fact. At a Adabotics, I'm having trouble saying that, is a Calgary-based company who received a special mention on Time Magazine's Best Inventions list and were named to CNBC's Disruptor 50 list. Wow. Billed as Amazon's ant-sized competition. Seriously, huh? They also ranked number one on Fast Company's list on the most innovative logistic, logistics companies of 2020. That's pretty impressive. That it's is super company. impressive. I, yeah. I did a little bit of research um, yeah. after I saw the article on these guys, and they are doing some very cool things. I want to go back and look, but um, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Homegrown. Homegrown. Yeah. Um, and another um, Calgary-based company is Neo Financial. Now, they're really... they burst into the market uh, and they, they've become a one billion valued unicorn. So they were launched in 2019 and they achieved this one billion unicorn valuation in May of 2022 actually. Uh, they raised $185 million in a Series C round of financing. It's a lot of money to, to raise. Um, they currently have uh, 650 people and they are actively hiring uh, over 100 new positions and that's constantly growing. Growing. I sure. mean, they've taken yeah. up a ton of vacant um, commercial space in downtown Calgary as well, which uh, is well needed. Um, so the, the guys behind Neo Financial mm -hmm. are actually the ones that built Skip the Dishes, which is really cool. I mean, they built that company to a, a yeah. top 10 company in sure. Canada. Yeah. And they had a look at the banking uh, system and thought, hey, let's apply tech to mm -hmm. banking and and offer a different kind of banking experience that's yeah. based in tech, right? So I think that's pretty cool. Very cool. And like, if there's a theme here, you know, that we're starting to see, and we certainly talked about this in a previous video, video it's that that tech space yeah. is really growing here. Yeah, so the diversification. Our traditional sort of energy sector, which we've really relied on. Yeah. Yes, we have that, but now we're like, hey, we need to branch out and grow. For sure. And, and that's what we're doing, so. Absolutely, yeah. So there's also this uh, really cool thing called the Opportunity Calgary Investment Fund. So why don't you talk about that a little bit? Yeah, OCIF, yeah. as you said, the Opportunity Calgary Investment Fund. Um, so they provide investments to support economic diversification, growth, mm -hmm. and talent development. And so I'll just kind of go through um, some of the places they invested in 2022. Yeah. Thin Air Labs Fund. Uh, created to support early stage companies and help accelerate their growth in the tech and innovation sectors. Uh, IBM was a part of this. Yeah, they they're will receive. Here, right? yeah, 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 yeah. So they're going to receive up to $5 million for opening their Western Canada Client Innovation Center here in Calgary. Uh, and it's going to create 250 to 400 plus uh, jobs, mm -hmm. um, highly skilled jobs. Mm -hmm. Uh, Avatar Innovations. Not to be confused with the movie. Not to be confused with uh, <laughs> the James Cameron movie. Uh, will be provided up to half a million to support uh, the creation, development, and growth of local companies driving energy transition. Okay. Kind of in interesting. Yeah. Uh, there's one called Emphasis. We as well, which we talked about earlier. Yeah. Yep. So they're receiving. So they're going to receive up to seven million over four years to attract uh, intermediate and senior level tech talent to Calgary. Hmm. They're going to recruit more than 550 workers okay. and offer work integrated learning opportunities for students. That's cool. Okay. Hmm. So that's good. Yeah. And then one more. There's. Um, I think this is combined ventures, venture builders, combined okay. venture builders. Mm -hmm. They're going to receive up to 1.9 million over two years to support innovative early stage Calgary tech companies. Hmm. There's the tech thing again. Yeah. So essentially this is a, a fund that helps move new 
companies forward, right? right. Or innovative companies forward. Yeah. Or, you know, obviously IBM's on a new company, but to help uh, drive growth in the workplace yeah. or in, you know, tech or innovation. Yeah, yeah absolutely. That's, that's really cool. Very, very cool. Yeah. Okay. Um, and speaking of growth, you know, there have been some really good news about growth opportunities in Calgary. So the province has done uh, some research, the city's done some research on where we can grow. And so one of those, um, they, there's actually a report that came out and it's titled Lessons for Calgary's Innovation Ecosystem. Hmm. What does that mean? So this report actually explores ways for Calgary to become a top creative hub. So cutting edge research meets real world applications, right? So apparently this report was based on learnings from other top tech cities okay. and there's more to come in 2023. They're just kind of getting mm -hmm. this started. So it'll be super interesting to see kind of where this goes. But again, as we talked about this focus on, uh, on tech. Yeah, so, for sure. Yeah. And we're, and we'll link up, um, we'll link up all the articles for all of these points in the uh, description. Yeah. So you can, if you want to go there and learn a little bit more, you can do that. So. Absolutely. All right. What are we on to number nine? Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know much about this one. I know a little bit only that I've heard about it. Uh, mm -hmm. Of course, esports. Yeah. So Alberta esports strategy. Um, I had no idea that we were becoming this sort of no. uh, global esports hub. Um, with this strong competitive video yeah. gaming community. So I think the province actually put together this strategy to attract some money, right? It sounds like, like it. So yeah. there's obviously some of you out there might might already know about this, but um, it's interesting. So mm -hmm. the Alberta eSports strategy was launched in November yeah. by the province and provides a framework to seize the $1 billion opportunity in this digital media and entertainment space. So um, eSports is huge now, I think, Crazy. We're starting to realize that that's a real thing. Yeah, um, it's not just uh, not just a hobby really anymore. Mm -hmm. um, some so serious money there. <laughs> there's some serious money there. <laughs> so apparently, the the League of Legends drew in just under 100 million unique viewers for its 2019 World Championship final. Those are like Super Bowl numbers. Those are huge numbers. That's crazy. Those are huge <laughs> now, numbers. Now that didn't happen in Alberta, but just an example of like yes. how big this space is. So right? it's so. it's massive. That's gonna be yeah. super interesting to yeah. follow too, and that's only getting bigger. Yeah, so bring some money into the province. Absolutely. Cool. Yeah. All right, guys, hang in there with us. Uh, we are at number 10. Number 10, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> so I think we saw this, uh, we all saw this headline earlier in the year, but it's worth mentioning again. Calgary was named as the third world's third most yeah, livable city, that's right? That's super interesting. That's yeah. really cool. Yeah. So yeah, we, we, it was the highest uh, ever ranking mm -hmm. um, by The Economist. Yeah. Uh, so it's an annual list of the world's uh, most livable cities. It, uh, we got top marks in culture, environment, and education, which is you know, pretty yeah. cool. So uh, just some notes here. We tied with Zurich for third spot, actually. Mm -hmm. We've been in the top 10 before, but like I said earlier, this is the highest that we've ever achieved. Yeah. We actually beat out Vancouver, right. which was number five. We beat out Toronto, which was number eight. Mm -hmm. um, so each city was given a rating out of 100, and there were 30 qualitative and quantitative factors across five categories. So they looked at stability, healthcare, culture, environment, education, and infrastructure. Uh, yeah, so number three. Yeah, and we did, we did. I wouldn't say we did a video on it, but we mentioned it in we a did. in a previous video. And maybe I'll just put the link up there so you can check that out if you want. To. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, um, number eleven. So again, here we are, top tech city. Um, that's yeah. number eleven. Calgary rises in rankings as a top tech talent city. Mm -hmm. We're starting to hear this over and over again, yeah. and. Um, so there's been like a 22% growth in tech talent and tech jobs over the past five years. Very cool. And Calgary's now ranked 28th among the top North American markets, hmm. steadily growing. Yeah. Um, and I, I think I also read that Calgary experienced the fastest pace of tech growth um, in North America. Wow. In like 2.2%. I think that was like a workforce yeah. thing. Okay. That's so, cool. you know, I, I suspect the 2023. The growth in North America. Yeah. Okay. So we're on track. We're on track. <laughs> and I, I can't That's see awesome. this going down in 2023. So yeah. we'll see. 
Cool. Yeah. So another article we came across uh, talks about building a workplace for the future, uh, building talent with work integrated learning. So opportunities for like students to kind of get involved uh, with real world kind of scenarios. So Calgary actually announced a pilot program to grow our talent pool and equip students with these real world experiences. So they're um, they're also providing access to some like to a one stop online portal, which will help uh, sort of achieve these goals. Uh, I don't know a lot about it, to be honest yet. I need to dig into this to learn more, yeah. but it's a, it's actually a collaboration with all seven of Calgary's post-secondary institutions, which is really cool. Mm. They've collaborated with some local employers, yeah. uh, Calgary Economic Development, of course, and then also the government of Alberta. So it's it's cool. It'll, like, it'd be interesting to see where this goes, right? Yeah, for sure. And definitely like have to keep our eye on that one. It's, um, it's going to require a little more digging and research. Yeah, but, for sure. Yeah. Um, all right. Lucky number 13. As, uh, as it goes with building a workforce for the future for Calgary mm-hmm. is, um, so the, the title of this one is Displaced Energy Professionals Transition to, you guessed it, tech. tech. <laughs> <laughs> so there is a new program apparently that trains professionals displaced from the oil and gas sector to pivot to new careers uh, in Calgary's digital tech landscape. That's cool. Um, and again, because of the rapid growth mm-hmm. In, in our tech sector here, mm-hmm. there are now more than 3,000 tech companies in the province with almost 60% of them based right here in Calgary. Wow, that's a lot. I mean, so, I had no idea there was 3,000. That's, yeah. I mean, sure, some of them are smaller, but yep, yep. that's still, that's a lot. And I think it's really cool that they have these programs now to help people pivot and learn new uh, careers, right? So I'm, I'm guessing like taking skills that they probably used, uh, had when they worked oil and gas, and mm-hmm. then how can they apply that into yeah. this new yeah. sector, right? That's, yeah. that's cool. Very cool. Yeah. Yep. So another uh, f- cool thing to talk about is filming. So mm-hmm. Calgary has really become the place for TV and movies, right? We were actually named a top city for movie makers. We're the fourth largest filming jurisdiction in Canada. I had no idea. (laughs) And obviously we're home to a lot of award-winning talent and crews. Uh, We have access to these world-renowned locations. We have a new film studio and that studio was actually fully booked in 2022, which is really great news. Calgary was ranked as the top 10 city to live and work as a movie maker. Top 10. Hmm. So this really put us on the global map uh, for film and TV productions. Of course, we should talk about some recent notable productions that all chose Calgary as their location to film. Fraggle Rock, I remember that uh, show, Jim Henson's show right. from, I don't yeah. know, it was the 80s or 90s, but yeah. uh, classic show, so they've done a reboot of that. They filmed that uh, here at the film studio. Uh, Prey, which was a prequel to mm. Predator, that was done here. Right. Um, Under the Banner of Heaven, which was a true crime uh, I don't think series. I know that one. Yeah. yeah, we haven't watched that one yet, but I think yeah. we should check that one Kate. out. Of course, Fargo now, um, yes. not... Not all the seasons were filmed here, no. but four of them were filmed right. here. So yeah. uh, really cool. The Revenant, of course, with uh, yes. Leo DiCaprio, that was uh, yeah. out uh, filmed largely yeah. uh, just outside. Kind of the, the foothills, I think, to the Rockies. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah, Ghostbusters Afterlife, which I actually think was filmed in and around Drumheller quite a bit. Right. Yeah, I mean the landscape. There I only is... saw the first Ghostbusters. Yeah, it wasn't I, like a I didn't sequel, catch that one you know. So. <laughs> <laughs> and then this really this big one, which was The Last of Us, uh, one of the largest TV productions in Canadian history. I actually didn't realize that and that was filmed right here in Calgary. In fact, there were some locations in downtown right. Calgary that were shut down, yeah. you know, for quite some time right. while they were filming. I, yeah. And I and I hadn't I didn't know about that one until you like you'd mentioned it to me. Yeah. Um and that one's are they not coming? Like that's airing yeah, soon. Yeah, I isn't think it? it's airing January fifteenth on HBO. So that's yeah. like just literally around the corner here. Yeah, so. for sure. So the woman who cuts my hair actually works on a lot of these uh, productions. Okay. Uh, she does uh, hair for a lot of the background right. actors, and so um, it's kind of fun to <laughs> to get. Some, she can't say a lot because she signs NDAs, so right, I don't sure. want to get anyone in trouble. But it is kind of fun, especially after filming is done, yeah. to kind of hear um, some of the stories. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So, cool. Mm-hmm. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Again progress right Absolutely. so that's and fun to see number 15 last but not least 
Last but not yeah. least, um, so this is going to be a hot topic because yes. I can I can see it in the comments right now. <laughs> be nice in your comments, <laughs> but do provide your comments and and like let us know what you think for sure. Yeah. Um, Calgary's forecasted to avoid recession in 2023. Mm, it's true. That's a very interesting one. And yeah. so there's a lot of factors that are, of course, are involved in that. For We've sure. mentioned a few contributing factors, I yeah, think. Well, that I think all 14 of the articles we mentioned are all sort of pointing towards growth rather than yeah. recession, right? So, so again, Calgary Economic Development. Um, in October, they put together this forecast mm -hmm. um, that commodity price-driven growth and momentum in uh, in a diversity diversified economy will propel the city okay um this year um, despite forecasts of a global recession so okay. you know now the atb financial forecast gdp growth in alberta will be approximately three percent in 2023 and for you for those of you not in alberta atb is alberta treasury branch yes. they do a lot of Thank you. Uh, financial forecasts right. yeah. uh great um blog to follow as well called the owl and um, yeah, so it's, it's pretty cool that they're forecasting this growth, right? I mean, it's not that we're going to be immune to right. a recession. I, th I think, you know, nobody's saying, obviously, interest rates are going to affect us and, you yeah. know, all those things, right? But, and, and increase in, in cost of living and, you know, prices to buy groceries. Mm -hmm. I mean, sure. obviously, we yeah. can't avoid those things. No. But I think what they're getting at with this is that we may uh, be able to weather the storm mm -hmm. a little bit better than some other. Right. Right. provinces we're in a better position yeah. uh to kind of come out better or okay yeah uh than than some others and so. you know like uh you, you just who was it was it uh steve Jobs said uh, you can't connect the dots looking forwards you can only connect them looking backwards mm -hmm. so yeah. time will tell yeah we'll see we've got to go through the year and we've got to see how things are, are moving along but yeah. Let's see. Like, these are good markers to keep our eye on, and yeah, uh, for sure. it'll be super fun. Well, so. I think, you know, just from the various tech industries, aviation, which we didn't actually didn't even talk about in this video, uh, the film productions. I mean, there's just exciting growth yeah. in this province across a variety of sectors, for sure. right? It's driving confidence in our economy. I mean, Calgary is really being seen as this place of opportunity and mm. for good reason, right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. It is exciting because, you know, it, there's, there is a fair amount of uh, sort of doom and gloom out there mm -hmm. these days. But, yeah. um, you know, it's, it's, it's nice to see these things. Let's keep an eye on it. Um, who knows? Maybe we'll do another video sort of down the road and do a little bit of an update. Yeah, for sure. Perfect. So as we mentioned before, uh, all of these articles will be linked in the description below. If you want to dig into any one of them, you can do that. Yep. And I will also link to the original article from Calgary Economic Development. Definitely. So, yeah. yeah. Perfect. Thanks again for tuning in. As always, we super appreciate your support. If you like this video, please hit the like button and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again, guys. We'll Thank see you, you soon. See you.